Yeah. Do you have any torches on you? Nope. Okay, there's a torch sitting on the floor in the middle of the room there. Uh, when you clear out that area, put the torch in the middle like the other ones are. Okay. That will eliminate all spawn from the this uh, area. I'm going to go get some wood. All right. What? Oh, you just didn't have your diggers pack on. Okay. Excellent. Now we're ready to start the next phase of conversion. Uh, in Basically, uh, for this room and that room, the two we're going to convert into one, take out any block that doesn't have a torch on it. Uh, I cut one down with one. Oops. Oh well. Okay, while you're working on that room there, I'm going to start conver uh, modifying here. <coughs> start putting down the walls? Yeah. Alright.
Uh, the reason I do it this way, it may seem a little chaotic, uh, but this way, uh, as I work, I can take breaks without having to worry about suddenly having to deal with lighting issues. Yeah. Anyway. I'm going to go to a, a corner and go get some food. Alright. And I'm back. Welcome back. This reminds me of one of the episodes that Dan and Toby did. Oh? Where Dan had to go away for a bit. He had, and had demanded that Toby entertain the, the audience. What did he do? What, Toby? Yeah. Fished a bit, smiled for the camera, and that's about it. <laughs> for some reason, I was picturing Dan encased in Obsidian. No, they, this is on their uh, survival island. That still doesn't change the picture. On the original island, before they actually had tools or, or a stable source of food? Tell me, if you and Terry were doing that, uh, would you come up with some way to encase him in obsidian? I would opt myself, put myself in creative, and encase him in bedrock. No, he, he'd be able to figure it out that way. He'd know you cheated. Mm. See, the trick is, is to make it, make him think you did, but leave him with absolutely no definable proof. Mm. Especially if you say you were exploring and you uh, found a zombie carrying a bucket and uh, killed him. Or be better option. 
found it in a chest. I uh, know that he needs to know where the chest is. Hmm. So that's the first thing he'd do, is he'd ask, where's the chest? Yeah, but here's the thing. How often do I leave the chest where it was? True, but then he'd ask, well, where's the dungeon? It wouldn't have to be a dungeon, it'd just have to be a cave. I would make sure that it happened after an abandoned mine shaft, at the very least. If he knows you have a bucket, then uh, there's far less uh, room for entertainment. Mm. Because the what the hey what uh, is no longer there. Mm. There we go effectively have the first room of the three built. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how are we going to handle this? Hmm. See, I want to hold off on messing with these uh, two spare rooms at the moment. Because I don't know if we're going to need to dock all four together, or what are we going to do. Okay. I'm turning off magnet mode since it's construction time. All right. Um, all right. How much stuff are we going to need to store? Uh, for the purposes of preventing underrun, I would say one barrel of dirt, one barrel of sand, and one barrel of uh, the uh, Name is escaping me at the moment. The uh, stuff we get from a mulch. Moist, yeah, mulch. Plus, of course, uh, prevent. Uh, like when we get bounce back, we don't need to worry about the uh, anything overflowing. Or if we get bounce back, we don't need to worry about anything gumming up. If that's the case, then we don't need any extra barrels. It can all be produced on demand. Hmm. I'd feel better if we had some sort of buffer of that. Just because if we start to turn everything on, there's suddenly going to be a lot of demand everywhere. Yeah. So if the output to the carpenters can be into a system that has well, any kind of extra uh, storage, like even... Uh, four stacks of peat bog and four stacks of humus, mm. that would be optimal. That way we can build up the extra, and we know that once things get going, it doesn't have that great high of a demand. Mm -hmm.
You are, of course, going to edit this a bit. Oh, we actually have a viewer. A uh, little tree four. Hmm. <laughs> Hello out there. We're going to need to have uh, two carpenters running, uh, storage, feeding the, uh, the stuff for that. Hold on, i got to move my thing here. Yep. I keep forgetting to mute or unmute it, so half the time I turn it on and it's muted, half the time I turn it on it's not. I figure barrels would make the easiest uh, thing to have the uh, storage because they would uh, automatically sort and it'd be easier to set the calls from them. Hmm. Each carpenter probably is best off having its own aqueous accumulator uh, just to keep things hidden, unless you think you can set up the piping in the floor uh, hidden within one block of level, because we can't go two blocks down, otherwise that water is probably going to be seeping through the ceiling of the next room. Yep. Um, hmm. I'm going to go up and I'm going to actually uh, tear a hole in the layer above so we know what room things are coming down in. Okay. So that's where the edge of the room is. I figure it's best not to tear the whole thing down. Probably going to be better off using chests rather than barrels, actually. Oh? Why do you think that? Uh, chests are not sided, barrels are. It's a lot easier to fit into cramped spaces. Stuff like True. that. True. But with barrels being sided, it gives us a chance to auto-sort. So when things are coming in along uh, the pneumatic tube, They'll just drop right into the right barrel. Yeah. Let's see. So there's a little way to save room there. We just have to have like a filter or something pulling it uh, out of them. Pulling out of the underside set to uh, set to stack at once. Right.
great way to get downstairs, isn't it? I think it's a better way to get back upstairs. Downstairs is easy enough. Yeah. Thinking of which, I think I'm going to take this opportunity to recharge my boots. Again. I didn't bother charging them last time. Too much uh, power being pulled from the system. Hmm. You and your silly hat. Mm-hmm. And we seem to have a power production issue at the moment. Or EE. Or IC2. Ugh. Not really. Let's see, is this one... Nope, we don't, actually. Oh? No. If there is, it's because it might be raining out. It is. There you go. That's the, that's the only reason why. Topping up all my gear while I'm at it. Yep. That thing, huh. is, that thing is really touchy. What is? The whole... The, the whole control shift click to move items uh, of one type all at once. Yeah. Well, you're the red power expert here. I also happen to have just heard an Enderman. I just popped through the uh, portal, but I don't think that could have been it. If you heard one, I didn't. He must be downstairs. Yeah, I hear him. Yep. There he is. So how's the ender ender? Still doing pretty good. Now what's the shard up to? 634. Yay. 
That turbine rotor isn't fucking too healthy. Yeah, it's been going for about a day and a half. Real world. Is that, uh, is that sided inventory? Uh, it doesn't actually have... It doesn't have, actually have a dumpable inventory. I can't actually automate the insertion of turbine rotors. And nuts. Yep. Okay, there's no reason to keep that door up anymore since we're both working in this room. Mm hmm. Let's uh, work at it uh, from the uh, from the out or from the input to the output. Okay. Okay. Assume th that every barrel is going to have something in it. Yeah, we only really need to have at least three barrels. I don't quite think we need to pull everything all the way over here, but. But oh well. Overflow well, has to go somewhere. Anyway. Do you have uh, any barrels? Uh, I think they're all up in the storage room right now. And okay. and no, they're not all on the all they're not all on or in the wall. There are actually some in, in the storage somewhere. You mean in a barrel? There's a barrel of barrels. Well, it was before, until I took the last of them out. Hmm. Barrels can fit in the chest, and chest can fit in the barrels. Mm-hmm. Now you tell me uh, how this isn't circular. Barrelception. It's almost as bad as the fact that full-blown chests can fit in full-blown chests. At least we aren't putting ender pouches in our ender pouches. Yet. Key emphasis on that word. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And we seem to be lacking on something impressive here. Barrels. We don't have any. Uh, they're in the base somewhere. I'll just make some. Okay, that'll work. Not like we're lacking for mats. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 